welcome to another episode of Rogue Guitar. My name is Mel, and I'm here to help you not make the same mistakes I made in the beginning. Um, today I am doing an episode on holding a pick. Alright, when I first started, I was holding the pick like this. I don't know why. It just was comfortable. I was I didn't I didn't take anybody's recommendation, advice. Um, no YouTube, I just, oh, this, this is how I think I should hold it. It feels comfortable. Look how awkward that is. It, it's like you're unstable, you're hitting the strings at a different pressure, so you're like, when you strum, it's not like a nice mellow, it's like some weird, you know, something like that. The best way to hold a pick for me is to basically hold it like that. And I'm not gonna say, put your finger here and da 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 okay, I'm not, just look, okay? You can figure it out, just take a look. I'll slow, I'll put it in slow motion. All right, so that's it, and I'm gonna, right there. So it's like that, okay? But I do sometimes put my middle finger on the other side of the pick. I don't know why, it just seems to feel natural for me. Um, you may find that it doesn't feel right for you, but try everything once at least and um, see what's good for you. But for me, this is the way I like to hold a pick, just like that. And then it allows me to have a lot of control. Um, I can strum evenly, hitting all the strings. And then whenever I need to do some picking, it seems like it really gives me a lot of control as well. I put some links below. Um, these guys are awesome. They're pros. They they give lessons and they know what they're doing. But I highly recommend watching all of them and figuring out what's right for you. Nothing's in stone. Everything's a suggestion and a recommendation. So hopefully I've helped you um, not make the same mistakes I did. And I'll see you around next time. <laughs>